Andrew, that was emotional. That was nice to hear at the end. We know what a tough year he's had. But Justin Thomas as a competitor, what more did we see from him in that regard today with that performance? Yeah, I think the world over the last month or so has probably helped Justin Thomas, you know, grow as a, as a human being, as an athlete, as a golfer. Uh, some some pretty difficult lessons, life lessons, and uh, I, I figured that that was just on show today. Uh, he seemed very very much in control of his emotions, which he absolutely had to be uh, down a very difficult, high pressure eye stretch, and and he was the worldly winner at the end of the day. What does he show you in full flow when his ball striking uh, is as imperious as that was today? on a demanding golf course, it's seriously impressive to watch. Yeah, it? it's special. The unfortunate thing, when you watch it, he makes it look easy. This is a brutally difficult golf course. Every part of you is shaking coming down that stretch. He held all that together. He is class with the golf clubs. He spoke to the media a little bit this week, and he said sometimes when he's been in positions, he presses too hard. He wants to win almost too much. Again, what did you see today that that control with his game, with his swing, but also between the ears as well. Yeah, well, I think between the ears, and, and you alluded to it just, just before we went to the break there about the patience that he showed, because when you're desperate to win something and you're level par through, what was it, seven holes, and then you throw a bogey in, in the, on, you know, in the eighth and in the, in the final round, you can, you can lose it right then. But he got it back at nine, out in level par, and then just lit the blue touch paper on the way in. You know, just had that run of birdies, you know, eagle, chucking an eagle there. And all of a sudden, like you say, he was in the zone. He got into that wonderful little place where everybody loves to be, strives to be. And he just took off and, and, and nobody could really sort of uh, hold a candle to him at the end of the day. And just to pick up on what you said quite rightly before the break as well, he has been through an awful lot. Just from a professional golfer's psyche, you know, golfers, they've got lives away and sometimes we, we're, we're so sort of hypercritical, yeah. I guess, watching them on the golf course, there's a lot going on. But how much has what has happened off the course this year helped him as a human being, which in then turns in turn helps him as a golfer? Yeah, I, I think you can learn an awful lot as a golfer. You know, golf could be a tremendous metaphor for life. life. Life is like that. It has its ups and downs. We're human beings. We're frail. We make mistakes. We are vulnerable. Uh, you know, he's, he, he exposed himself. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, and he also did unfortunate thing of of, of his you know his, his grandfather passing away. So he exposed those frailties a few weeks ago, and of course, you know I think it just it just sort of brought him down to earth a little bit. He he went about his business, tried to keep his head down, be the professional that he is, and get on with the business, and, and that's what he did very exceptionally well today.